Hello everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my craft room. I hope you've been enjoying this release of B.B. Cameron's B.B.'s Hummingbird Collection or Hummingbird's Collection. And let's just do a little recap before we get into making this adorable split um, trellis card. I think this came out so cute. I decorated my envelope with this stencil just to have fun. And then this is what I did with the inside of it. And look at that. That's backed really nicely. So very pretty, happy card, right? And I'm going to show you how to split up that um, stamp. I don't cut my stamps, so I'll, but I'll show you how I split it up. Okay, now let's just recap. So there's two videos before this one. And I first I talk about how to cut out and what you can cut out from the large die that comes with this absolutely gorgeous set. So I talk about the five by seven here and then cutting this out and then I've made a scrapbook page with the ne this little negative right here, um, or not negative, this little frame right here that comes uh, in the large dies. Let me show that to you. So it's these, this die right here. Now my things are packaged differently because they send them to me so that I can showcase them um, for you guys. So I get them uh, about three weeks to a month early and then I get to play with them. I make my videos and um, then pass it on to you on the launch date. So um, this week is, you know, it, it launched on the 10th and um, so I've been having fun playing with these. But here are these dies. They're, this is a this is like for a 5x7 card. That was the first 5x7 card I had ever made. So that was a whole lot of fun to use. And then here's this. It was very intriguing to me. So I came up with a nice scrapbook page. This is my daughter. She's now 42 years old. She was a year and a half here. So I'm really starting to do a whole lot of scrapbooking um, and I'm just having a lot of fun with it. With what they send, I try to do, you know, a little bit of scrapbooking and then I put in one of my pictures. So, you know, it's like kill two birds with one stone, right? Um, okay, so uh, with this card though, well, let's look at the other ones that I've made, actually. I'm just moving things out of the way. The last one I did was this one. And I taught you how to make this beautiful shimmer paper. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm going to use the rest of the shimmer paper on here. Now look at this side by side. Let me move those envelopes out of the way. This one has a pinkish tone to the background with white. And then this is darker with that yellow. The um, shimmer paper is what we made in the video, but look at how, because of the background of the cards, what a contrast that you get. This one being brighter and this one being a little bit more muted, but also happy because it reminds me of the sunshine in the back. So, you know, I mean, when you mix and match color, you're going to get some beautiful results. So I did those, and then here was the first one that we did together. This is the 5 by 7 I did all of the ink blending, used the Wink of Stella on the birds, and I just had a fantastic time making my very first 5 by 7 card. So I really had fun. This one, I used less pressure with the ink than I did this one. So, you know, every time you do something like this, they're going to come out a little bit different, but always fun and beautiful. All right. So here, let's see, I wanted to go through that, just a little recap. Now, this um, split trellis, I actually watched a, a little short video from B.B. Cameron, and she taught us how to do this, so I wanted to pass it on to you guys. Okay, on the inside, let's start with the inside of the card, but, but it, we can't put the inside inside the card until the very end. I'm going to bring in some scrap paper like we've been using and let's see this is just a, a dark pink color and it is a five by three and three quarter and then a white piece of cardstock four and three quarter by three and a half I like that for the inside of my cards seems to be a nice um, nice size so I'm going to go ahead and place my little bubbles here I wanted to use this part and I'm just going to use a little brush and have some fun with this I believe I've got myself about straight there. I think we're okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and stencil in at the bottom just a little color here. And then, of course, there's plenty of room to write a sentiment. 
you know, or your little note, whatever note that you would like to send. And then, you know, with not stamping one, you just write whatever you like. There we go. Okay, very nice. Now, let me move this aside. Let's go ahead. We can go ahead and put this on here. So let's go ahead and glue that down. Just like that. And then we're just going to set this aside because we cannot use this yet. Okay, let's get our envelope out. And just, you know, using the stencil, let's just go ahead and finish up with using that stencil. And here I'm just going to do like a little thin um, border. I just wanted to show you, you didn't have to use the whole entire one. So I'm just going to kind of drop that down on the tab of that envelope. And go ahead and apply my ink. Such a fast way to get a fun result, right? And then, when someone gets, when a friend gets this in the mail, they always know it's from their crafty friend, right? Look at how cute! Oh, I love it. And I'm going to do about like an inch down here. Just like that. Kind of come across there. You could use circular motion or back and forth. Really doesn't matter. The ink's just going into these little holes right here. And of course, there's the splatter and the stripes. I love this embossing folder because I have three different ways to emboss, but I've just got one sheet. Isn't that nice? Look at how stinking cute. Just a happy envelope, right? All right, let's move that aside with our... Um, uh, inside of the card now and this also now let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and cut the pieces we need with this is the excess uh, shimmer paper look at that wow if you want to learn how to make a shimmer paper look at the watch the video prior to this one. Oh, and remember I'm using this beautiful the um, hummingbird sentiments of course, throughout all of these videos, I'm using the hummingbird sentiments, the dyes, and the stencils, okay? So, and like I said, this is my very first um, this is my very first time ever doing something like this for spellbinders. So uh, I will cherish these hummingbirds because um, yeah, it was my very first set. I was excited when I got the email. They reached out and they asked me if I would like to do something like this. And I, of course, was ecstatic and said yes. So I hope I'm doing a good job. I, uh, you know, it's just me, you guys, if you follow me, you know me. Um, I'm gonna pick out my, my little pieces here. We need a bird. It's the two birds, they're two little heads. I've already got this cut out. This is the head with the beak and I cut that out of black already. I need uh, wings and tail feathers. And if you're wondering what this little pouch is, it is totally Tiffany. So let's see. This is a little splattered down there. So let's see how we can fit this over here. Let's put that there. Okay. Nice. And then we'll put our little face right there. Okay. Then we'll see how we're going to fit that wing in. But we'll fit it. We will get it. Let's put this up a little bit. Every little inch sometimes, or a little space helps, right? There we go. Okay. I hope you guys have made some shimmer paper. That was a lot of fun. And, you know, just because I'm doing these colors for the hummingbirds doesn't mean you have to stay with those colors. You know, you uh, you can do like Christmas. I did shimmer paper at Christmas. came out beautiful. But if you, you know, when you, if you watch me on the video, um, we really lay the ink to it and we let the ink get blobs. We want like the circles and the darkness and the, um, it was kind of, it's like, oh, look at how pretty. I just love that. Um, 
it's just fun because it's like, okay, normally we're like, tap off and let this kind of blend together, you know. So, but um, then when you hit it with the uh, little mixture that we make, it kind of lets everything spread into itself. And it just makes the prettiest paper. Now, I will say this much. I have used every bit um, in the last two cards that I've made, okay, I've used every bit of my shimmer paper that I made. So I have no waste. Nothing left over, no waste. I used every bit. Am I ever going to get that off my finger? <laughs> Been doing a lot of crafting today. So I got another um, set in the mail that I need to work with. And so I wanted to get my videos completed and uploaded for this beautiful set so that I could move on and give the other the attention that it needs also. So I'm just poking these out. Look at how cute they come out and they are so, um, the color is just so perfect. Just like they're um, a shimmery, shiny little hummingbird. I just love it. I just love it. We had fun with that. I hope, I hope you guys have had fun. Um, with this collection and like I say um, just below the video right below the video there's all links I need this I need one wing and I need this one okay so I want to place that there see this one kind of, did it I don't know is that going to be that bad to be a wing I really want it here okay so let's just see if we can fit it if it doesn't fit then we're okay I can even come this way with it I'm trying to stay in camera as I do it. Ooh, let's try that. Okay, if it doesn't if it doesn't cut out right, I'll just you know move down to the bottom and we'll just cut another one. But let's just see. Let's just see how we do. Oh, I got it! Look, I got it! I got the whole wing. I'm so excited. That's all I needed. That one um, hummingbird, it shows it like on the um, on that big die. It shows it with. Um, I'll get that out and just uh, let me just get this out of this die. <coughs> but it shows it with just one wing. But I liked adding a second one. I thought it looked cute with the second wing. I really did. I really thought it looked really cute with the second wing on it. So, okay, now look, I have used every bit that I can of this paper, and I feel like I have no waste. And I haven't lost any dyes either, so that's wonderful. That was one of my, you know, because if you follow me, you know if it's going to happen, it's going to happen to me. Um, so, yeah, I just... Uh, and I, that was like one of my biggest fears. I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to send me this stuff and then watch, I'll lose something and I will just be like, oh my gosh, what have I done? So I do have, well, see, and then things just happen. Okay, now let's go ahead and start our card. That is the next, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put our birds together. So we have our wings, we have tail feathers. They look just so cute, just like that's good. This one here, we can do, let's see, I need the one going that way to have two wings. I need this one to have, that one have two wings that way, and this one have two wings this way. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to move these little uh, beaks in. <sighs> Where's that other head? Oh my goodness, guys. See? Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay. Panic. Absolute panic, right? Okay. Now, like, um, if this is the first video that you're catching, um, there's uh, three, two others so far. There will be four. So you just layer this on here where the little humps just line it up and then it gives you the little black eye. Okay. Cute. Yeah, so I've made four cards. Well, wait, I've made uh, one, two, three. Is it one, two, three cards? And a scrapbook page is what I've done. But I, you haven't seen one of the cards yet. 
I still have yet to at this point I still have I have the, I have the card done I just have to do the video but today it's very cold here we're in something called um, but, um, red bud winter and I don't want to go out I already had to take my grandson some uh, he wanted McDonald's so I took him a little lunch my daughter's working and I just want to sit in here and play in this craft room it's cold out and I don't want to be out so that's what we're doing this afternoon that I was like it's a great afternoon to do a bunch of videos let them watch me put things together let's have fun look at this are you watching this little hummingbird just build isn't that cute adorable absolutely I hope you guys have placed your orders and um, please case my card if you like them, if you like my cards, please go ahead and copy them and share them with everyone. I love that. I think that that's the highest compliment anyone could ever give you when they copy your cards. So I'm going to put this here and that. Oh, up there. I wanted a smaller one this time. Okay, now I'm going to put that to the side. I'll put that back on. And let's go ahead and fix the next one. Put this right here. And here we go. And a little tail feather here. Now you're going to love that we have this together after because we've got a lot of work to do to the front of that card. But it's not, it's not difficult. It really is not. I thought maybe on my prototype there that one of the second from the bottom. Um, whoop. Get your little self over here. I thought the second from the bottom one was just a little bit off. Uh, but it's okay. So we will rectify that with you with doing what or doing this card. Okay, let's go ahead and stick some of these on. Use whatever foam you have. It this is just I want that popped up on the outside of the card. Okay. All right. Now let's see. Let's go ahead and um, cut. Well, now we have to cut the card base, right? Yeah, we have no choice here. We cannot. Um, I don't even know what that's for. So, let's move this in. All right. Now, this card base is um, called Portrait Style. It's 11 by 4 and a quarter. 11 by 4 and a quarter. I'm going to score it at 5 and a half. Right, but scored at yeah five and a half. Eleven by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. So this is a top fold card. Okay, now it's scored at five and a half, and I've got all my tape here because we need that. We need it this long for this project. Wait and see. Let me put my glue away here. Okay, and now what we're going to do is come down to this end. Move your paper to the end, and we're going to cut seven half-inch strips, okay? Seven half-inch strips. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Okay. Now, let's move this out of the way. That's all the cutting you have to do. Seven half-inch strips. Okay. Let me put everything 
back where I need it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and fold this. Take your bone folder and secure down the best you can the top of your card. Now, here is where um, we're going to use these little guys and we're going to line them up, okay? Now, I like to use, I try to use my grid here on my glass mat the best I can. Sometimes, though, you know, <laughs> something can move. All right, now, you want to take a piece of tape, and this is the best ever craft tape, um, but, you know, even washi tape would do, but if you pull washi tape off, and even this tape, be very, very gingerly with it that you don't rip your project. So we're going to put a little tab in there in the center, and we're going to pull this down. Okay, you know, I'm trying to line that up. I'm going to get another piece of tape right here, and I'm going to tape down my tape. Watch what I do. I'm going to tape down my tape, okay? Now, I'm lined up on my grid. I'm also, now see, I was doing a project before, and it pulled the tape off, okay? I mean, it pulled the paper off into the tape. I was like, oh, no. Okay, so, but I want, I need to, I need to secure that down. Do it very, very gingerly. Now, now you have a secure setting, okay? And now what we're going to do is put our half-inch strips across this card. Leaving a little space, okay? Now watch your spacing, okay? That's all. And then take another one and place it and just space, okay? Just like that. Now, don't push it down really hard because you might have to wiggle around and move these around. I think I'm doing pretty good. I don't know. I hope I'm doing pretty good. It looks, it looks okay to me on camera. Okay, so but don't press it. Okay, now I put two at the top. I want to go ahead and split my difference here. I'm going to put my one at the bottom. Take it all the way to the bottom of the card. Just like that. Because remember, it's going to stand up on this, okay? It's going to stand up on that, all right? Now, go ahead and space another one here. We're coming along really well with the spacing. This was the one that I got a little cattywampus on the other one, but I think I'm okay. Now you've got two left over here. Th those are important. This we're going to split the difference here. And let's see. I'm going to leave it just like, let's see. Should I bring this one up a little bit? Let's see here. There's that. I'm going to bring this one up, just kind of trying to get my spacing as close to wonderful as possible. Okay? All right. Enough. I like it. I'm looking through the camera, and I like it. Leaving it, okay? I'm taking, and I love this Gina K Connect glue. I really am a fan, a big fan of it. Um, now, you're going to put a dot up here. You're going to come in like about... Two squares, okay, two little squares right here I come in, and I'm just going to kind of put a dot coming down through here. One little dot here, 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 and here. Now, with these that are left over, you're going to place this on this side. You want to leave a little opening so that it looks fence-like, okay? just like that. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it wonder? Oh my gosh, it is so awesome. I love this. I just love that. Okay, let's do the other side. So about two squares in, roundabout, okay? And remember, this is handmade, not Hallmark. We always put our love and the best we can do into our projects. So let's go ahead and put the other side together. Whoop. I saw a little lip there, so I wanted to turn that paper just like that. Okay, let me look through the camera. Yes, love it. Okay, so here I have now secured that. Yay! All right, now we're going to pick this up and very, very gingerly <clears throat> I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take my tape off here. Now, see what that did in there? It held everything together. B.B. Cameron. Learned it from B.B. Cameron. So, that's amazing. 
And now I'm going to open this up. Okay, we want to make sure that we're stuck. We want to make sure that our glue is down. I'm going to hold this in place. I'm going to peel this back. And I think this is where I wiggled a little bit on the other card, okay? I probably did not wait for the glue to dry. Sometimes I get impatient. And as you see, I am gingerly peeling this back, right? We put all this time and effort into this card. Just take it slow. All right, and we have no tearing at all. Wonderful, beautiful. Okay, and our card front is fantastic. Let me make sure that I get enough glue. I think I just keep pulling that up. No, see, do you see I moved it? Do you see that it's moved? I see it's moved. Oh, no. I, it's probably this whole thing right here. Yep. It's that tab right here that wasn't secured with the glue. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're back in. Whew. We're okay. It was this whole thing when it disconnected, it turned cattywampus. All right. Let me get my little rubber eraser. I got a little glue coming out of there. And that will take that right off. All the links are below for products that I use in this video. Thank you so much for ordering and clicking on my link and ordering. I'm going to trim this off at the bottom. I so appreciate it. It really helps me stay retired. Honest to goodness, guys, you help me stay retired. And um, if I didn't have, I'm going to cut these off flush. If I didn't have all of you guys following me, I don't know if Spellbinders would have asked for me to do what I'm doing for them. And I'm very, very happy. You're all a part of it. You're all a part of my crafty journey. I really appreciate it. Look at how pretty. Okay, now, this is going to have a hard time standing up, right? Um, and I don't know if it's because it's the glass mat. I laughed before. Yeah, it is. It's the glass mat, okay? But this is flimsy, okay? So we want to add a little something, something. And I don't want bold under here, okay? Because I don't want the bold to take away from my hummingbirds that are so beautiful. So I took this piece. This is, um, what is this? Uh, five by three and three quarter. Yes, okay. Five by three and three quarter. So I took my pink and a piece of vellum. And I put my vellum on top here. Oh, this needs to be cut back. Five by three and three quarter. I knew I had one that was too big. By three and three quarter. Okay, there we go. This is a We Are Memories Keeper guillotine. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to put this on here, but I don't want any glue to show, okay? Because look at our card. Look at how pretty that looks just muted. You know, where um, behind here is, you know, the real pink, that deep pink color. But here it's muted because of the vellum. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use glue dots for this. And I'm just going to put them in the four corners because I really, I don't need it more attached than this, honest to goodness. Because then we're going to attach it to the card, and I'm going to show you how to do all of that. Okay. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and add our vellum right here to our piece, lining it up nicely. Okay? All right, now, we want this to be behind here. Okay, but we want it to be to where we see just a little bit, or actually on this one we don't see the pink because of where I put the little rails. Here I, I did come in a little bit more with the strips so then we see a little bit of pink. It really doesn't matter, but now we want to make sure that we're not to one side or the other and then see it, okay? So I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to place this here, just like that, right? Okay, and now I'm going to put four more 
um, glue dots. Or you could even use a little bit of tape runner if you don't have dots. You could use, you know, I wouldn't use any liquid glue. That's why I went to the dots. But I'm running out of them. So that's okay too. Okay, now, now here, we'll, here is what we're going to do. I'm going to put this inside the card, okay? I'm not going to let that touch this yet. I want to close it. I want to look. I want to scooch it around. I want to look. I think we're good. Do you see? We are really, really good. Now I'm going to attach just like that. And now, because the glue dots were on this piece of paper, we didn't have like glue dots out here, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, we put the glue dots on the back of the vellum and then pressed it into the front of the card. Now, this also gives the card weight and it feels so good like to stand up. It also gives it just a little bit of weight to stand up really nicely, but I'm not done with that. Um, let's go ahead, didn't we do, a, let's do our, get our inside here. And let's go ahead and place this on the inside of the card. Now, the other thing with this is that um, we don't want this to show side to side, wherever, okay? So, what we do is put it here, okay? I was making sure that my bubbles were on the bottom, okay? So what you're gonna do is put this on the back of what's flipped up from the front of the card, okay? And we're just gonna add some glue. Just like that. Just make sure you're right there, okay? It's not hard, just take your time. And now close the back into that piece that you just put in there. This is so perfect. I love it. Are you ready? Uh, adorable. Muted, right? Adorable. Absolutely. Absolutely wonderful. Go straighten that up just a little bit. Well, we might be stuck. I think we're stuck. Okay, we're good. So there's that. All right, now. These sentiments. I now have my card done. And uh, it's scary to go ahead and stamp. Use whatever apparatus you have for a, um, you know, a straightening device. I'm going to take the thinking of you and I'm going to place it right here. Okay. And I'm looking at this line right here from my Cricut Joy mat. I don't have a Cricut Joy. I just have the mat because it's sticky. Holds everything down. But now, I used this a long time ago. I got this from Jennifer McGuire. But then they've come out with sticky mats that are fantastic. So I would suggest that instead of a Cricut Joy mat. Like a sticky mat now. So that, you know, that's new, newer. But when we didn't have them, that was fantastic. Now I'm going to look over here. And I'm straight. That looks good. That looks great. Let me pick it up. Let me look. Let me look through the camera. Looks good. Okay. Now, I'm going to add black ink. Whatever kind that you like. And close the door. I'm going to just give it one more little light coat. And I don't press hard. I just press. Okay, because I don't want my stamp to like splay out and, and then us get a blurry look. Now, we have this wonderful stamp that says, Thinking of You, and then, Hope Your Day is Wonderful. Now, Hope Your Day is Wonderful does not fit, okay? Easy peasy. Okay, so, um, what we want to do now is I want to use part of this sentiment on one of the rungs and another part of the sentiment on another. So, <clears throat> scotch tape, very easy. Let's do hope your day. So we want to mask off is wonderful. Now I chose this because it's straight. Um, sometimes it's hard 
see how I ran my finger in there but I see a little bit right there sometimes it's hard um, if the sentiment is not straight to mask it off I have to admit that but I do not like to cut my stamps I can't do it guys I just oh now I have to tell you on the last card let me do I even have it here oh my gosh oh yes here it is look here is wonderful with stamped you see this up here I forgot to remove the tape I forgot to remove the tape I had to cut a piece I had to detach these down here stick one back in there and then stamp oh my gosh I was like oh, I've ruined the entire project but no uh, we, I rectified it okay I'm leaving this in here I kind of like where it's at okay and I'm going to put that right there now I'm stamping it into the black okay and because I'm not using the stamping device I really want to get it good now rip the tape off don't forget to rip off the tape and I'm gonna like scooch this over just a little bit and do hope your day I'm just letting it sit there, letting it absorb into the paper, because I know I have just one shot at it. Okay, we did okay. Now I'm going to just clean this over here. I just have like a little scrubby thing over here that I clean it on. Sorry for the table rocking. But at least the camera's not because of that new mount that I got. I really love that. Now I'm going to mask off Hope Your Day. Let's go ahead. Let me take a peek here. I think I'm good. I like to run, run my fingernail in there just to get it close, okay? And now we can just stamp is wonderful. And this is where I made that big mistake. Woo! I was like, oh no! Rip off the tape. And now this one on the last on the last rung, closer to this um, little, I don't know part of the fence and we're going to try to get that in the center is wonderful yes I love it okay great great all right let's put that away and my tape good now let's take this out of here and now and the card really doesn't look like much of nothing right but watch the, I mean, look at the inside. Isn't that pretty? Look at how professional this looks right here where we, where we lined that other piece up. And again, now the weight of the card, it really w it will stand up. The, it doesn't stand up on the glass. Nothing stands up on that glass. But there, <clears throat> there um, it does, it stands up nicely, right? Okay, now let's go ahead. And isn't it nice that we already have our birds ready to go? They're ready to jump on our trellis. So let's just take the backs off and let's put this one by hope your day and see it doesn't matter where I put the dimensionals I don't have to worry about putting them on you know what rung or this and that because I have my paper behind there and it's really going to support it also again a little muted pink because of the um, vellum which I think makes it look really pretty. And then this. There we go. And we're going to let this one fly up this way. Now I don't want these to come off of my card because they're fitting in an envelope. There we go. Just like that. Absolutely adorable. Maybe that beak is a little bit too close to thinking of you. Do you think? Let's see if we can't reposition this just a little bit. Kind of want it to fly up that way. Well, let's put it like this. There we go. Yeah, see, because I couldn't have the wings coming off of the um, card because of the envelope, but I didn't like that the beak was right over top of thinking of you. That looks a lot better. Yes, okay. All right, now, I just have some iridescent something or others here that I pulled out of my drawer, and I want to put a few of them around. And these, I love iridescent anything because it picks up color that's around it. And so it'll pick up the pink. It'll pick up these blues. It just makes everything, you know, fun. 
and more bling the better. I'm just gonna put that one out here. So I think it's that's just a lot of fun. And one by the H. And let's do one over here. And one over here. All right. Here is another absolutely wonderful card. BB's Hummingbirds. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos with her wonderful collection. Look how pretty this is. And fun, right? There are our cards. See, now this one came out really, really straight. This second one came out a whole lot better than this one. I, I do believe. So, you know, you'll just uh, have to experiment. But I think that one came out so, I think they're fine. They're really great. I love them both. But um, I'm a little partial to this one, I have to admit. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching. And there will be, um, let's see, I have one more to go uh, with uh, the cards. I have one more card video coming up with these beautiful hummingbirds. And I hope you stay tuned and um, enjoy watching while I create with BB's Hummingbirds. Again, links are below. Thanks again. See you next time.